to it that wins the game on the spot. Um, but there's just so many ways that this fan can go. Uh, some aggression definitely needs to be taken away from the chomp side, probably. Uh, I guess he takes out the Mo Long here. Yeah, Mo Long and Nana getting the ban speed lead for the Trump there to get first turn. Let's see if Spires can hold on with him taking turn one. This is an interesting one. We've got Newcomer versus Newcomer looking to lock in their ticket. And we've got more looking to get us kicked off with the Despair Stone sitting on top of the Masha. Yeah, I'm not sure about Spire's ban there because he's basically going to be eating a Tableau into Chung Pong with skill 2 into skill 3. Lots of damage. Some unit's going to go down really soon. Spire's Juno is going to need to be really good if he wants to come back in this match. And just like that, Gurk has gone missing! LeChonk did a fantastic job at removing a very complicated unit to deal with, and he made it look not so complicated. Yeah, but at the same time, there is this Juno and there is this Masha coming up here with potentially a defense break. And if that Masha is able to take a proc, he's going to be able to take out a unit of LeChonk. LeChonk does not have heal, so he's going to need to look for a second unit. Definitely. Should look for a reset there. No attack bar pushback going out onto the Masha. Masha resisted the reset as well. Fastly for the defense break going out onto the Dominic. Dominic did not take that well. Dominic looking terrible with the defense breaks. Uh, Despair Suns, I'm sorry. Suns going out onto two units of Spires. That's a massive proc from that Dominic because it gets him one step closer to dismounting that Masha. But again, that heal from that Molly is just so oppressive here. Spires looking like he's in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Water Ryu more trying to deal as much damage as possible to the Masha. Masha still standing tall, though, has not yet been dismounted. No slows going to be applied to that Tabo. Look for the spare stun for Juno, not receiving anything here. Yeah, and if all the debuffs to get that was one of the most difficult ones for Spire to deal with, that heal block is going to be massive. But again, that's so much damage coming from that Masha. It really is, and Molly's able to heal the team, even though the shield's up to protect that Masha here. No despair stuns coming out here. I think LeChonk is looking for some big despair stuns, not really receiving any, though. Yeah, at this point here, LeChonk doesn't have an answer to Molly plus the other units, so Spires has a really good Molly here. Uh, and unfortunately, even though that Chung Pong procs, it's not going to be able to live oh. to see another turn. It's crazy when you see it happen. Goes for the hit on top of the Juno. Juno's going to be revenging there. Taking out the unit on the revenge defense break, sitting on top of more here. More is not going to be the winner here. Nice little despair stun, but that is definitely going to be it for LeChonk. Spires taking round one away from LeChonk. No, if that Chung Pong and Charlotte's going to be enough to take out Spires team, which is really tank. We'll see. There's a lot of additional damage on the side of LeChonk. Speed leads for both players. 33 lead, though, for Spires. Spires looking to outspeed his opponent here as we get into this first match. Right here yeah, with Spires, Spires and LeChonk. Spires is going to have one unit outspeeding, and then LeChonk's going to be able to open up. But again, Spires has proven to have very tanky units. But this is a lot of damage coming out from, Le from LeChonk. Look at that second skill into a third skill with attack bar pushback. Masha not receiving that attack bar pushback here. Possibly looking for a defense break. Massive damage onto the Chunk Pong. Gets the initial turn. Finishes off that Chunk Pong. Wow, what a huge attack bar resets from Masha there, and then a huge proc able to take out that unit, so it takes, down, uh, takes out a lot of damage coming off of LeChonk's side. LeChonk's going to need a proc a lot to come back. Yeah, he really is, but he's got a good opening right here. He could definitely return dice to try to capitalize off things. Choosing not to return dice here. First skill's going out onto the Miles, drops that Miles from the field, and we've got Masha looking for that defense break, and it's so scary, we could see an additional turn pop up after that. Yeah, so Oliver's pretty much already written off in this match, but... LeChonk needs to dismount this Masha. That's a giant sleep there on the Gurkha. Charlotte's absolutely going ham here. Uh, Charlotte's popping off with all the sleeps. I think Charlotte's got all of her skills up. We can see a big skill too. Gets the Despair Stun again onto the Gurkha. Third skill with the attack bar pushback boosting up his team here. Return Dice able to do it all over again. Yeah, that's a lot of damage coming out from LeChonk and Masha's dismounted for Spires here and Spires might go down. Yeah, Spires might go down here. Nice little slow sitting on top of the Gurkha Gurkha with the additional damage he needs to land the Provoke here. If he lands that Provoke, we could possibly see a solo here with the Gurkha. Yeah, we might possibly see a Gurkha solo here. Was lucky to get that not off glancing, so I think this is going to be a Gurkha solo. Yep, Masha looking to finish off the Tablo. Maybe even try to take a shot at the Charlotte here. Does not happen. No sleep's going to be coming through. Look at all of that healing going down here. Everybody's going to get provoked. Look at the full health almost coming up from the Gurk here. Skill 2 is available. Nope, does your first skill. A little bit of poke damage going out onto that Water Ryu. But there's still provokes on the field. And this game is over. This Gurkha's going nuts here. Not over. Does proc though. Massive proc from Spires. The Chunk's going to need to get really lucky with some stuns if he wants a chance to win. That's exactly what he needs. He needs those despair stuns. That's a two turn provoke. And he's going to keep those provokes up here. There's that defense break. And we've got Masha looking to take advantage of that defense break. There you have it. Spires with a round two victory over LeChonk. Yep, definitely leaving that Verdial in with that team lane last pick here. Possible bans on that Dominic. I don't think Spire wants to see those big damage coming out here. And does ban out the Dominic and Tian Lang's going to be getting the ban. 
interesting ban of the Tianlang there, but makes sense with this team. But the Tianlang and the Gurkha, not sure why he would have drafted that, because the two do not synergize at all. So we're going to see a lot of aggression coming out from LeChonk here, and it's going to be up to Spires to be able to survive uh, and get his Gurkha online. Yep, 100%. I think we're going to see LeChonk have a great stat once again. There's no immunity on this field. Goes to the second skill. Does he get the additional turn? No additional turn is going to be coming out here, but the return dice is going to be reducing attack bar with Verdi. He'll look at a pump up his team. Serious Matter is going to be coming out trying to take advantage of the no willed units here. A little bit of resistance on top of those attack bars, though. Gets that beautiful spare stun. And an additional turn coming out of this Tablo. Yeah, and that's massive misses on the attack bar resets on the two fire units. It's going to allow Spire to do a lot of damage in a Lachonk team. It may ultimately be a deciding factor in this match because this Masha is going to be able to take a turn and do a lot of damage. Yeah, Masha gives a big defense break on top of that Chang Pong. Chang Pong still alive. We've got Gurkha still alive as well. But there it is, Juno dropping. Bird Heal dropping that Gurkha. Yeah, so it's going to come down to see if LeChonk can do enough damage with the Moor. He's going to need to get a lot of stuns online, and Spires is going to need to find a window of opportunity with the defense break from the Masha. Yeah, most definitely. A little sustain there with getting that stun on top of that Juno. First, sure, Verde Heal looking to get the dismount on top of the Masha. You can see LeChonk's definitely going to be focusing down the Masha. He wants to get that dismount as soon as possible. He wants to get away from those defense breaks. Verde Heal still trying to pummel in all the damage that he can. More looking to pummel in any damage. No despair stuns, but an additional turn coming out from the Stablo. Yeah, interesting choice of him to use that skill 3 there. Not sure if it really gave him a turn advantage, but at the same time he procs, so it really didn't matter. Spire's looking very healthy here. Units being able to survive. Uh, so far he looks to be looks to be surviving with that model. Ooh, two negative effects hitting the top of the Juno, but he's able to take advantage of that with the Vertigo. Vertigo dropping the Juno, and he's going to continue to try and pummel in all the damage that he can on top of this Masha. Yeah, and the Chunk's going to be doing a lot of damage with this more. This more Vertigo combination is just so much damage. I think Spires is going to have his Masha dismounted. That's exactly what happens, and Spires is not going to be able to hang on. No, not at all. So many additional turns coming out of this Tablo as well. Beautiful stuns there. LeChonk did exactly what he needed to do. He held on and he took down Spires in this round three match. We're getting into a game four with LeChonk and Spires. So much. That could be enough to take turn one away from LeChonk. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That's a very fast opening from the Moor here, going into a Chung Pung and then a Tablo reset on this whole situation here. So LeChonk's going to do a lot of damage and Spires is going to need to hang on. That's right. I mean, LeChonk has had excellent uh, uh, starts to all of his matches. It's about keeping that momentum going. Oliver with the reset attack or pushback on top of that Chung Pong. Initial turn obviously coming out here. Looking for that reset. Not getting it, though. Is resistant on top of the Tablo. Yeah, I'm not sure why he decided to go after the Oliver there. I think he should have laid damage into the Molly and take out the Molly. He has two more units that are going to do some damage. So not sure about LeChonk's decision making there. And he's going to lose his Tablo. Definitely going to be losing his Tablo here. I mean, either the Molly or the Oliver could have been the one to take out the Tablo with the, as much HP as he had left here. You can see the sustain starting to come through with the Molly, and Masha is going to keep with this onslaught on top of this Chung Pung. Yeah, I'm not sure again what Spires is planning to do hitting that Oliver. That Oliver doesn't have defense break. It's really not taking much damage here. You really should be thinking about that Molly because that Molly is going to keep Spires' entire team up. Uh, and that once that Oliver gets online, it's, I mean, it's, it's taking over. Exactly. It's exactly what's going to be happening here. There it is. Juno is going to be dropping that unit there. Latronk definitely not looking good. Now. Oh, LeChonk's decided to go after the Molly with the defense break sitting on top of it. Yeah, not sure why LeChonk decided to split his damage out like that. Kind of an odd way to do things. And of course, uh, just lost the bird just like that. Yep, just like that. Inspires looking excellent in this fourth round match between LeChonk. We've got Masha trying to do some finishing damage here. Wateryu needs to see nothing but despair stuns to finish off Spires here. And that's what he's got to see. And I don't think that's what we're going to be yeah, seeing. Water Yeah. Water is going to need to see nothing but procs and despair suns, and it's not happening for him. Not happening for LeChonk.